Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I've been meaning to do this video for a couple days now. Um, and I just haven't got around to it. This is the Slow Tarot. My newest, latest, beautiful create uh, part of my collection. This is the Pensive Path Tarot. I've been using them together for mediumship readings. And let me tell you, you're about to witness the beauty of it together. Um, I've also been using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle with them. Perfection. So, um, I've had a spirit, somebody float around me in the last few days. Um, I did a quick meditation before I started the video. Letting whoever know they can talk to me through the cards. I'm going to do my spread I usually do. Um, I have incense going just there. Um, just because sometimes I like to have incense. Sometimes I don't need it. But sometimes I do feel like I need that extra oomph. And that's what we got today. I also have this deck here. Um, I'm going to use that if I can. That's from Etsy. It's the uh, True Crime something something i'll post a link below if i can remember um i've been using the slow tarot it is stunning stunning um it, it is amazing for mediumship work i've explained to you guys that when i did my walkthrough before i did my walkthrough um and i love how it shuffles also even though it's linen it shuffles great and it doesn't fly out everywhere um This specific deck reminds me of, like, an abandoned town, and we're seeing memories from that town. Um, and I just, it's, the way it's been reading for me the last couple days, it's just stunning. And I love the way, it, like I said, it shuffles, and it's been really great. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the spread I made up that I use all the time. Um... And I'm going to use both of these decks and the Oracle deck. And then this may be for the um, outer edges because I've kind of expanded this spread. I now may not have the room here for all of to show you, but I'll give you the description as I'm going. So what I normally do is I pull a card. Um, and I actually want to use this one for that center card, the Pensive Path Tarot. Both of these are indie decks. Um... I got the, uh, this, I, I think I got them both from the creator's website, and I'll post those links below if I remember, if I always remember. But this one's by Reese Marin. Um, actually, I got her card right here. There. So, the first question I ask in my spread is, who are you? What spirit is hanging around, and I'm shuffling as I ask this question about the attention into the cards, and that one just tried to fly out. And again, I do this spread, um, ev I got the moon. I do this spread every day at my job because I feel like I'm surrounded by spirits at my job. Um, I found out like a year ago that the bridge that's been redone and kind of doesn't look like it did back in the 20s that's down the street from my job is called suicide bridge not that people committed suicide on it but there were so many wrecks where people were killed um it's probably five blocks for me <laughs> plus i always seem like um there was a fact i keep wanting to say there was a factory fire um and it near where I, the property that I'm on now, and there wasn't, there was just woods where I'm at. Um, the building is from the 90s, late 90s, um, of, you know, 1990s. So the building itself is not that old, but there had to have been, and I've never been able to find it. I did find that there was a, because I got the year 1928 the other day, I got that there was a GM factory in Kansas City, not that far from me, that had um, an explosion at it at one point, but it was still there. It actually didn't get demolished till like 2013. Um, but that still doesn't explain all the things that go on at my job. So, uh, 
I just find it interesting. I did a spread yesterday because somebody asked me to before I saw the news on Kate Middleton. And the first card that came out was the moon card, which I found it interesting. Um, just because right after I did the spread, because I drew the tower card, I actually drew from this deck. I drew the moon card, the tower card, and the five of cups. And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> And then the her announcement was made about her having chemo and all that happening. If you don't know, it's spoiler alert. It was an announcement made in the news yesterday. So I found that very intriguing and interesting. And I kept saying I feel like she's sick and just in hiding right now. And it came, came true. So, but I find it interesting that we have the moon card because that's the card I pulled for her yesterday. I know she's not passed, so this feels almost like there's something related, not to her, but almost like whatever I felt yesterday um, may have been someone trying to come through when I pulled cards for her, if that makes any sense. So I pull a card from my tarot deck, usually, and I, sometimes I'll get the sense right away that it's either male or female. With the moon card, I don't really feel nothing. I do look like there's a man here on a bridge um, in this card. I do have a couple moons cards where there's a female in them. Um, but I don't feel one way or another male or female in this particular card. So my next two cards are going to go on either side and it's going to be from this deck. And I'm going to just simply ask what uh, give me two cards for your personality. And that one literally just flew out and hit me in the face. <laughs> and it's the five of freaking cups again. Wow. Wow. Okay. One more for your personality. One more. And I should be shuffling here. I just don't want you guys to see just shuffling. Um, one more for a personality. And we got the four of swords. Um, and the Four of Swords, oh my god, and the next card that fell out was the freaking Tower card again. Wow. The same cards came out that was here yesterday. So I now, it almost feels like it confirms for me that whoever was here, whoever cards I pulled for yesterday was not in regards to Kate Middleton. Maybe it was, maybe it's a relative of hers, someone that's looking out for her. And seeing the, all her stuff going on. Uh, interesting. Uh, but I still don't get male or female vibes here. Um, but the Four of Swords, I often... When I'm doing a mediumship reading, I often pull that... If I pull that card, to me, it lets me know that that person knows their past. Um, that's just a way it's always come up when I do mediumship reading. So I've... I, they have either been passed for long enough that they, they've come to terms with it. They know they've passed. Or they just know that they're no longer living. Um, I mean, some people can pass and just know right away if they're dead or not. And I'm just going to say unalive because I don't want to trigger anybody. Um, but that is interesting. That just lets me know they know they've passed. So then what I do is I pull oracle cards and we're going to pull from the Vintage Wisdom. This is a mass market deck that just says um, and to me the Five of Cups is um, you know something is shattered and the Tower of course is something that's something is falling away. So you're having a tower moment and something is happening and that's when I pulled the card yesterday that let me know she's sick or something's happening that ha it's a major tower moment especially if it's coupled with the five of cups because clearly this kid is devastated that these cups are broken on the floor and um, yeah to me it just adds a level of um, the tower so the next questions are going to be, and I'm shuffling as I say it, what did you learn in life? And I got love. 
beautiful and it usually goes below here i don't have the room for all of it but you get the gist and then the next card is what did you learn in death what did you learn in death and i got centering so again i get this vibe that somebody has passed they know they passed they've come to terms with everything there's nothing holding them here which it's a good thing right because we don't want people to linger um so then the next thing i do i pull from this deck again the original deck that has the moon underneath and i pull two cards and i put them in these corners actually these corners um any messages no actually it's these corners here do you have any messages i don't know why i always do the messages in these corners i just do um do you have any messages and there's a card that flew out and we got the nine of cups nine of cups and we got the eight of swords that came out yesterday also interesting <laughs> and the that was actually in the message yesterday i got the eight of swords to me in this deck especially is that message of um don't let stuff tie you down or keep you bound deal with your stuff and move on don't let it bind you don't let it keep you from being able to pursue what you need to pursue and i very much feel that in this card because they're it's almost like they're overwhelmed with the working working side of things that they have lost sight of that that they're really truly free they could just walk away if they choose and i feel like in the nine of cups that's the wish card in any deck right the nine of cups is the wish card whatever you wish will be manifested so if you choose this this is how it's going to be if you choose this that's how it's going to be so i find that fascinating so i'm going to go back to the other deck now and i'm going to ask how did you die how did you die how did you die and that's going to go in those corners here how did you die this is the hermit card and hermit card for me in a mediumship reading usually does not mean it, it, they were alone and i got the freaking six of wands i pulled that yesterday too almost all the same cards i'm pulling that i pulled yesterday so i almost feel like this was a person that is is okay so yesterday i got something about being an alcoholic um female um a motherly energy all of these questions were I, all of this came out when i asked about kate middleton um the hermit came out the six of wands came out the six of wands is a celebration card but i feel like whoever was celebrating their um and i'm gonna set it here whoever was celebrating um their anniversary of being sober had fallen off the wagon and that celebration was now null and void and the hermit usually is a card of to me in a mediumship reading depression um like they're alone they're by themselves um and here on the bottom and then i look at the bottom and i pull a card on the side of the bottom of the two decks and the bottom of this deck is the six of swords they're trying to get away and the three of swords on the other deck um so there's a very they're very much a heartbroke feeling and they're trying to get away um interesting and then usually if you uh if you can't see it but in the upper corners there's a smaller space um and i usually pull four core four cards from a um from a uh what do you call it playing card deck but we're going to use this deck this time because this is what i bought this deck for is mediumship readings i'm going to pull four cards uh, any other thing this person wants to tell me before we close and i drop two cards on the floor one of them is sold soul oh 
See, I'm not trying to make this about Kate Middleton, but I still feel like it's involving someone in her personal family, especially when it says soul to soul. This person does not, maybe they did not approve of her marrying into the royal family. Um, they really haven't spoken maybe since. Um, I still feel like it's a motherly type knife we got. Um, and two more cards, please. Two more cards. Two more cards. Two more cards. Got one that says white collar crime and digital evidence. Okay, so the information I got yesterday, I didn't use this deck yesterday. The information I got yesterday was that um, when I pulled cards asking where's Kate Middleton, that's all I asked. And those three cards, initial cards came out. The Tower, the Five of Cups, and the Moon. So I was like, oh, she's going through some trauma right now. Something's happening to her where she is refusing to be in the public eye. <laughs> and I had a couple of employees go, oh my God, they killed her. I'm like, no, nobody killed her. She doesn't feel like she's passed. Um, but I did have, it felt like a lady came through. I wanted to say a mother figure. Uh, she had problems with alcohol. Um, she had, uh, she loved her children, but she wasn't the best mother. Um, she died by, uh, uh, either some kind of cancer or alcoholism or something related to that cancer due to alcoholism um i did feel like that she had fallen off the wagon and maybe i was like maybe this person's alive and kate went to help and that's why she's disappeared because they they don't want the scandal in the news right um and so now this tells me there's it says digital evidence and i think that's interesting because that's one of the reasons i feel like she disappeared because whatever she was going through whatever was happening she didn't want it out there and then yesterday there was this public very public announcement that she made herself saying I've been battling cancer and I've been through chemo. And so I find it very interesting that a lot of the same cards come up for me asking what spirit is here. Um, that I pulled for her for yesterday. Um, and I'm getting a lot of the same energy. There's a female uh, feeling. Um, she knows she wasn't the greatest person, but she also is still looking out for someone. And it may not have been this whole time. The thing I read for her yesterday may not have been, have been, have been about Kate now that we're looking at the same kind of cards coming through. It could have been someone else trying to come through and say, hey, either this whole thing with Kate Middleton triggered her and she came forward because it reminded her, oh, I've got a kid out there that you know, is going through the same thing I'm going through or something related to that. Um, so I find that very fascinating. And I find all of this fascinating because I'm pulling a lot of the same information that I pulled yesterday. Other than the, um, the sold. So it almost feels like there is a rift in this family dynamic because of the, whoever this is that's passed has passed because of their alcohol abuse or something going on. Um, and then the freaking hangman is on here too. I pulled that yesterday also. <laughs> um, and again, the hangman and the hermit to me in a mediumship reading are very much you're alone and with your own thoughts. And that's sometimes a very dangerous thing, especially if you're unstable um, because you've been drinking or whatever. Um, and then knife here almost again. And then we got the three of swords. It feels like I don't want to say suicide, but it feels very much like that. Like they knew they were dying anyway. So they're just like, yeah, I'm just going to end it. Um, and then that made whoever still alive that they're trying to reach out for very upset. And just like, if you had just talked to me and we could have got you help something. Um, but I'm going to leave it there because it's getting kind of icky. <laughs> and I didn't want to come on here and be like, oh, this is horrible, blah, 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 blah. Um, but it seems like it's, the more cards I pull, the ickier it gets. And I, for one, understand completely about family dynamics and how rough that can be. But if anyone out there resonates and let, let me know, um, 
I felt compelled to do this video for the last three days. Yesterday, I did these cards, and then again, it's weird that I'm pulling the same exact cards for a person that's passed versus a person that's living. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good night.